I saw it and I just immediately fell in love. I think I would have to sell a few things from my wardrobe to be able to buy this. And I never thought of myself as someone who would really participate in this trend. I don't personally think I look that great in red. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are talking all about my October favorites as well as the fall trends that I've been loving lately. And I'll also touch a little bit on my updated wish list. So if you wanna see that, then just keep on watching. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Reza. I talk all about personal finances and I also do some lifestyle content. So if you're into that, please make sure you're subscribed down below so I wanted to introduce kind of like a new segment and I wanted to talk about my monthly favorites and this will be the first month that we're doing this so in October I've been loving quite a few things just because of the turn of the season I feel like I've been pulling out a lot of my clothes and just things in my wardrobe I've also picked up quite a few things so I want to share that with you guys and I also want to talk about some of the trends that I've been loving and maybe i haven't pulled a trigger on buying something for that trend yet but i'm thinking about it so let's start with my october favorites so i've been wanting to get a new perfume for the fall months i think i mentioned it in one of my videos that i wanted to get the byredo balde freak perfume however that perfume is like 400 dollars for 100 mils and it's just a little bit out of my price range so that's like the ideal scent that I want to get, but I had to kind of pivot because it's a little bit too pricey. So I went to go look at other brands and I went to go to Diptyque and try on a few perfumes and I got a sample of one. It's one of their newest ones and I actually ended up purchasing that a couple weeks ago and I've been loving it. It's the Diptyque Le Papier. I got this on Essence. This is the 50 ml version of it and I think it was 175. They still have this on Essence and they're actually having a sale right now. I recommend if you have a Diptyque near you to smell this one because it's so good. I feel like it's the perfect fall scent and I've been really really loving it this month. This is my first fall favorite. The second item I want to talk about are bags. I'm going to lump both of them in this section because I've been loving the autumn colors. So the burgundies, the browns, I'm really, really liking that. The first bag I want to talk about is the Celine Romy. This is a bag that I purchased last season. I don't think they have this specific color anymore. This color is called Hickory. I think they still have the tan and the white potentially, but this one was a seasonal color from last year and I'm so glad I picked this up. I was actually a bit hesitant to purchase this color because I have always had black bags and I wanted to make sure that it matched with everything in my wardrobe and this was still a neutral. It was definitely the first color that I brought into my bag collection and I've been loving it so much because it's just, it adds a little bit of something and it's honestly like the most perfect fall bag. It slings over your shoulder pretty easily and you still have so much room left and you're still able to put a coat over and put this bag on your shoulder and yeah it's such a beautiful bag it is on the pricier side but i have been loving this bag so much and i'm such a fan of the gold accents of the hardware and yeah i think it's such a timeless bag and it fits so much got that like slouchy effortless vibe going on as well and i'm so happy that i have this bag in my collection because this color has been trending this season and then the next bag kind of in a similar colorway is my dragon diffusion triple jump in the small size this is more of a brown color compared to the burgundy of the celine obviously a very different style from the celine it fits so much it has just like an open compartment at the top i'd say that these have been the two bags that i've been reaching for this fall and yeah, I'm so happy that they're in my collection and they're in my October favorites. Moving away from bags, I want to talk all about my new favorite journal that I have been using and loving this month. It's a bit of a sneak peek and if you've been following along, you know that The Line, which is my small stationery business, has collaborated with Zoe Pritchard, who is also a YouTuber here. And we created the most beautiful planner and I've been using it so much this past month because I got a sample of it and I couldn't help myself. So this is gonna be the official reveal, at least on my channel. I know Zoe's already posted it. I wanna introduce you guys to the Gentle Productivity Planner. I don't know if you can see the true color, but it is this beautiful pink or blush color. We're calling it Pink Peony. And it just got the Gentle Productivity logo on the front of the planner and the inside pages are exactly what I'm looking for in the planner. This officially launches next week so keep your eyes peeled for that. Make sure you're subscribed to the newsletter to be the first to know. We do have very limited stock because 
it is our first planner that we've done together so we just kind of want to see how it goes so if you want one of these make sure you're subscribed to the newsletter below and if you're not a big fan of pink we also brought it in a champagne color and it looks like this have the option for the pink or the beige this is what the colors look like side by side so you guys can see I personally really like the pink but I feel like a lot of people are loving the beige as well so yeah that's been a really fun project to work on and I did do a vlog of when Zoe came here for the photo shoot that will go up in a couple weeks so those are all of my October favorites for this month and now getting into my favorite fall trends. I feel like there's so many fall trends that I have been loving personally that I'm not sure if I should be picking up all of the things. I've been putting together a bit of a wish list to make sure that these are things that will live longer in my wardrobe. I feel like trends come and go and you don't really wanna to spend too, too much money on them. But if it's something that you think is your style and that you think will continue on, throughout the seasons, then I definitely think it's worth investing on these pieces. So I'll just list off a few of the trends that I've been seeing and that I've personally been loving. The very first one is the color red. I feel like I have been seeing this trend all over social media and I never thought of myself as someone who would really participate in this trend. I don't personally think I look that great in red, whether it's like a top or accessories or anything like that and for some reason and maybe it's a social media influence but for some reason I'm like drawn to this trend I already have the Celine Romy and I'm like I'm set this is my red thing for this season and I have been using it as that I feel like it just adds that you know pop of color in my wardrobe but I've been kind of thinking about potentially picking up a sweater that is red I'm just not sure which one I have a list on my notion of which ones I've been thinking about picking up but they're all super pricey I think I saw one from Cezanne for like $250 which is just so much money for a trend that I'm not even sure would suit me so I haven't pulled the trigger on that but what I did pull the trigger on and what you might have noticed is I did get my nails done and I got them in this red like burgundy color I did this a couple days ago and I'm still like not sure if I like them on me personally I've been seeing red nails on other people and I'm like I really like that I decided to try it when I needed to get my nails done this month and I'm like huh, I'm not sure if this one is for me, but I'm kind of stuck with them because these are shellac nails and I usually change my shellac nails like every three weeks. So we'll have them for three weeks and maybe they'll grow on me, but I do really like it on other people and maybe it's just, it's just me potentially. The next trend I've been loving this fall is the kitten heel trend. So I think I mentioned this in my 24 hours in Montreal video and I did try on a pair of kitten heels. I still really, really like them and I do really think about them still, but I'm just not sure if it's gonna mesh well with the lifestyle that I have here. I do live in Vancouver and if you know anything about Vancouver, not everyone really dresses up here. So even if it's just kitten heels, I feel like people might look at me weird because it seems like I'm trying too hard or like I'm dressing up too much. So it's more of a, I'm not sure if it'll fit my lifestyle at this current moment but I still really like this trend and I do think that this can live on throughout the seasons because if I just buy a pair of black kitten heels, I can still continue to wear them past this fall. Staying on the shoes trend, I have been really loving ballet flats. However, I don't think that they will look good on me. I just wanted to mention it here because I know they look good on so many people, but I just don't think it's something that I'm going to be participating in, but I have been really loving the ballet flat trend as well. And then the second last trend I've been loving is the trench coat trend. This isn't really a trend because I feel like trench coats are very classic and everyone should have one in their wardrobe. I have one that I don't currently have with me, but I will post a photo here. It's from Totem and it's their classic trench coat. I've had this for three years now. I get so many compliments every time I wear it and it's so practical, it's so well made. Like I can't say anything bad about this trench coat and I will leave a link to it down below because they continue to bring this back every season because it's just the best trench. This lighting is not great, although I'm very happy that we're getting some sun here in Vancouver. 
Okay, I think this is slightly better, but we're almost done. I just wanted to touch on my updated wish list. So I will link my most recent wish list video here for you guys. And I want to just quickly run through things that are still on my wish list and things that I have added to my wish list. So if you saw my 24 hours in Montreal vlog, you would have seen that I tried on a lot of things on my wish list. And there's things that have just fallen off and things that are going to continue to stay there. So the very first thing that is still on the wish list is the rose slouchy banana bag. I did try that on in my Montreal vlog and I do still really really like that bag and I want something from the row and I'm pretty sure the first thing I'm going to get is either a bag or a pair of shoes and I cannot take that bag off of my mind. The only reason other than it's really expensive but the only other reason why I didn't buy that at Essence is because it is very very similar to my Loewe puzzle bag because they have that bag in black and it's kind of the same crossbody type of bag even though I know the shape is very different so I couldn't really justify having the same type of bag in my collection so that's the reason why I haven't pulled the trigger on it yet if I had the brown Loewe puzzle bag, maybe I would have bought the black or the row slouchy banana, but that's not the case. So I'm just going to keep this on the wish list for now and continue to like mull it over and think about it. The next thing that is still on my wish list is a pair of straight leg denim. I have been on the hunt for the best, most perfect pair of straight leg jeans. And I didn't find that at Essence. I tried on Levi's, I tried on Kate, I tried on a Goldian Citizens of Humanity, and they all just weren't the thing that I was looking for. And let me know down below if you guys have any other recommendations for the best straight leg jeans. And then the last thing that is still on my wish list, which I had already mentioned in this video, is the pair of pointed toe kitten heels. Yeah, I'm still thinking about these and I'm gonna keep it on the wish list and we'll see if I pull the trigger this fall. And then there is one new thing in my wish list, which TBD if I'm gonna buy this, but I saw it and I just immediately fell in love. I think I would have to sell a few things from my wardrobe to be able to buy this but it is the japan tote by dragon diffusion i know i already showed you guys the triple jump tote from dragon diffusion and honestly they're very similar except that the weaving of the leather is a little bit different so i will put up a photo of the japan tote here so you guys can see the reference but yeah it is a very different look but it's the same style of bag so if I do end up getting that one I feel like I'll have to sell this one and it's so hard to say that because I love this one I just don't know if I can keep both especially if I get the Japan tote in the same brown color I feel like I don't need both I would love both but I just I don't need both I'm putting it on the wish list because it's such a beautiful bag and yeah I would love to at least try it on and see it in person before I make any rash decisions but yeah that's it those are all the things that I have been loving this past month my updated wish list and the trends that I have been loving and potentially going to buy into for this fall let me know what some of the trends you guys have been loving this fall and anything that you have picked up for this new season and I will see you guys in my next video bye